if you found somebody else who like played Dungeons and Dragons, like when I went to college, I found a group of people who played and mm-hmm. it was like yeah. instant friends kind of thing. It's Gold like a secret club. Language. Like, oh, you know yeah. all the rules and you know how this yep. works and you understand how to suspend your disbelief. Yeah. It felt to me like one of the first examples or at least earliest examples of a cooperative game. Most games that I knew of when I was a kid was me against my parents or other friends who were playing yeah. the Monopoly board game or Risk or Connect 4 or whatever. It was yep. always me versus the other people in the game. Dungeons and Dragons was the first one where we were all a team. Yeah. And the social aspect of it, I thought later in life, not then, what a great tool for people who were the most socially awkward people Mm -hmm. in the real world yeah to allow them to have that safe fun space for each other to enjoy each other's company throw fritos at each other whatever 